All right, let's take our first look here at Mavericks, and we're going to start with the Finder. So here's Finder environment. I got a lot going on, a lot of windows, a lot of different locations. I'm going to go up here to the window menu, and let's merge all my windows. Just like that, they hop into a set of tabs. Now, of course, these tabs have different locations, different view settings for each of those locations. Creating a tab is just as you'd expect. Just click plus. I can select another location, like AirDrop, maybe another for this work file share I have going right here. And now that I have multiple uh, tabs, it's a really great way to actually work and copy documents. So if I want to copy this field report, I can just hover over the AirDrop tab, drop it, just like that, really nice. And of course, I can now take Finder full screen. Next, let's take a look at tagging. This is really cool. So as I go to save a document, you notice I can give it a name, like let's say project plan. And in addition to its location, in this case I'm going to save it in iCloud, I can also give it a tag from any of the tags I've uh, made up. So I'm going to call this document important. It looks pretty important to me. And we'll go here into the finder. And you see in the finder sidebar, I have an important tag. And I see all these documents. They're from different locations, different applications all drawn together in sidebar. We have other tags I've given things for things that are draft and in review. Now, of course, with tags, I can assign multiple tags to the same document. That's part of the power of tags. So I go here, and I'm going to say this one is also in review. And you notice as I assign that tag, it now appears in that location as well. And if I want to assign a totally new tag, I want to make up a tag on the fly, I can just type it right here. This is a website project I'm working on. It says create new tag website. And just like that, I've created a new tag, and you can see it right here in the finder. I can give that tag a color, of course. And now that I have that tag, I can also assign tags by just dragging things in to the tag area in the finder. So different assets for my website, just drag them in, and they're tagged like that. And tags are great for searching. So if I start typing, let's say, important, I can find all documents that are important, Let's go to all my files, and we'll find all documents that are both important and that are in review. And just like that, I found exactly what I'm looking for with tags. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at multiple displays. I'm going to open up some of the kind of windows that I'm often working with. We'll open up iPhoto here, maybe a, a keynote presentation. And I actually have a second display connected to this uh, MacBook Pro. Let's uh, show that up there on the display now. Of course, with multiple displays, I can just move windows, cross displays like you'd expect. But now, I can get up at my menu bar on the second display. If I go down to the bottom, I can summon the dock just like that. If I want to open an app on the second display, I can just open it on the dock here. And here's uh, iTunes. I can take this app full screen just like that. And as I swipe spaces, just right back there, just on that display. Let's take a Keynote full screen as well. I'm going to go back to my uh, first display here. Let's even take iPhoto full screen. So now I have different full screen apps on my different displays. It's actually a really fantastic way to work. Go in here into Favorite Travels. And I can now drag assets across my full screen apps like that. Super cool. And Mission Control has just been supercharged for multiple displays. So I'm going to go now into uh, Mission Control. And we see my different full screen spaces and uh, uh, desktops across applications. I can drag a window from one display to another. But I can also go and drag a full screen app right across displays, bring preview open, and now I have that full screen on this display as well. Finally, I actually have an Apple TV uh, around here. Let's bring that into play. So here's my, here's my Apple TV. Now, uh, this, is, this is pretty over the top. So I can actually go here into uh, AirPlay. I'm going to connect to this Apple TV. So now it's a full power display as well. You can see I have my menu bar and my dock. I can go over here and get my dock here. And I can go into Mission Control even. And I can go get a window across that other display. We'll just drag Keynote over here, right on to my Apple TV, and open it up. There it is, full displays in Mavericks.